The Principles of Universal Design for Learning What is Universal Design for Learning? It is a set of principles for curriculum development that give all individuals equal opportunity to learn. It provides a blueprint for creating instructional goals, methods, materials and assessments. Why is universal design for learning necessary? Individuals bring a huge variety of skills, needs and interests to learning. Neuroscience has revealed these differences to be as varied and unique as our DNA or fingerprints. Learning networks in our brains reveal the individuality of each learner. Three primary brain networks come into play. Recognition networks, strategic networks and effective networks. Firstly, recognition networks, the what of learning. This is how we gather facts and categorise what we hear, see and read. Where we identify letters, words and a writer's style. This leads us to principle one, multiple forms of representation. It is important to present information and content in a variety of ways. Secondly, we have strategic networks, the how of learning. This is where we plan and perform tasks. It is how we organize and express our ideas. For example, writing an essay or solving a math problem. This brings us to principle two, multiple means of expression. Teachers need to differentiate the way students can express what they know. The teacher needs more ways to provide multiple means of action and expression. Thirdly, we have effective networks. The why of learning. This affects how learners become engaged and motivated. How they are challenged, excited or interested. This brings us to principle three, multiple means of engagement. This is a teacher's ability to stimulate interest and motivation for learning.